when things get tough in baseball, I tend to like really isolate myself from everybody. I like to just like be in complete solitude, not talk to anybody and like let myself figure it out. But like what I've realized is it's it's okay to like kind of open up about, you know, what you're feeling and not to internalize everything that you're feeling, especially when it was like the magnitude that like I had been feeling. It was just super like destructive for me because it was just eating me up on the inside, but I wasn't telling anybody about it. So yeah, like when the going gets tough, I think it's like important to like go to like people that you trust, not, not to like internalize it like I did. And that's something that I kind of learned the hard way. Yeah, I've, there's one guy in particular that I wanted to like bring up in this, in that, this aspect. He's like, he's always taken me under his wing and he's like a, he's a veteran. He's manager of the big league. His name is Dean Dietz. I consider him a pretty close friend and like a, he's like probably my what I'd consider like the best mentor for me just because like you know he doesn't take the game too seriously he doesn't take himself too seriously but he's really really aware of things that go on around him and how to control like the game of baseball because he's had a lot of success and he's had a lot of failure he's experienced it from top to bottom just you know talking with him has always been like a, a real a real pleasure because he's such a good guy my family is obviously like my biggest supporter. Like those will always be like my rock that I go to. And I have had like an overwhelming amount of support, like just from the people close to me. And I just like, you know, I can't be more thankful for that. Cause I know that that doesn't happen with everybody. Um, and sometimes I take it for granted. So, you know, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I used to always just think like, oh, if I don't perform, then people aren't going to like me, which is the exact opposite. Like, love is unconditional. And knowing that and with what I went through, it, it really helped me just to know that I'm not alone. My coaches, my family, my friends, they, they made me into who I am today and I have to credit everything to them. There's not a day that's bad for me just because I think about where I was literally like just over a year ago, like 14 months ago, I'm a completely different person. We had a different coach my freshman year, Coach Lopez, and then he, uh, he retired after my freshman year. Um, and coach Jay Johnson came in, and he's amazing, you know. The day Coach Johnson got hired, he actually called me, and that meant a lot to me. You know, he was like, I'm excited, I'm excited to get to U of A, I'm excited for you to get back, back on campus, and I'm excited to get back to work. We're gonna give them a training ground for achieving their dream of being a Major League Baseball player. There's not one player that will be allowed to step in this program that on the field, that is not their end goal in terms of their athletic career. From that day, you know, that meant a lot to me and I really appreciated him doing that. And uh, ever since then, you know, he was my guy. You know, he, I love that guy to death. I owe that guy a lot. He made me a great baseball player, you know, and uh, him, be, him coming in my sophomore year is probably the best thing that could have ever happened. Two, two. High fly ball way out of here to right field. J.J. Manajevic destroys a baseball for a three-run homer. And that's an exclamation point. Um, so spring training was great. Uh, unfortunately, the third week in there, I pulled my hamstring. So I was like, okay, I missed you know, the first you know, two or three weeks of the season. No big deal. Um, I'll be back. I'll be ready to go. And then second, my second rehab game, I re-pulled it again. So I got a late start to the season during rehab. You know, my dad was, you know, I would talk to him and I'd be like, you know, like, are they gonna just keep me here when I'm healthy? You know, it was just like so many things go through your mind because um, you uh, you physically can't do anything about it. So you're just wondering like, what's gonna happen when I'm healthy? Um, am I not gonna go anywhere? Am I gonna go anywhere? And he was like, you know, he's like, Jack, just like relax, take a deep breath. Like, whatever happens, happens. It's gonna be fine, you know. You know, I want to leave an impact uh, of the same impact as these these big name players do. They leave an impact of 
of more than just performance, but the way that they're able to, to mold and help shape the next generation coming up. I wanna set an example. I wanna be a guy people look at as he plays hard. He's down to get dirty. He's able to, he'll run through a brick wall for you. I, I don't wanna ever lose that. I don't wanna ever have someone tell me you're not, you're not who you used to be. The guy I knew played hard. The guy I knew wanted to win every single game. The guy I knew didn't wanna give up any ABs. I wanna be known as a guy that loves the game, period. But it all starts with effort. I just wanna be remembered as a guy who gave all of his effort and respected and loved the game how it should be. Judge me for my content of character. Judge me for who I am as a person rather than what I do on field and let my performance speak for itself. I, I don't know what to say. Like I'm, I'm at a loss for words when I think about certain things. She really gave everything that she had and some to, to continue to raise six children and put them through schools and making sure that we made the right decisions. She, she's a warrior, she's a fighter. She's one of the strongest people I know and I owe her everything. She made sure that every single one of us had the necessary tools and the necessary things to be as successful as we could be and made sure to love us enough for two parents. She deserves the world and ultimately that's what drives me. Yeah, um, geez. Give me a break. My bad. Yeah, I don't really know why so many people have like st just stuck with me for so long. But he's definitely uh, near the top. <laughs> Just think back to that day. I was a lot like this. <laughs> ah, yeah, you guys gonna have to give me a sec. And you know, his first thing was like, you know, it's it's bullshit. You know, I know, I saw all the guys that got drafted. You're better than all of them. He kind of helped me come up with the plan to. figure it out. I mean, I think the reason why I got choked up there and, you know, emotional is like, that was probably the, the lowest of my career. I thank God for my girlfriend, Kayla. It just threw it all at me. It was like, I always tell her like, you know, no matter what comes to this, at least I have you and Lola, our dog, you know, I mean, it's, you know, that's the stuff that matters. And she's been probably the biggest part, her and my dad, and then people like Adam and Kyle. It's crazy to look back on, and that's another reason why, you know, I think I got a little emotional there, is just like how far I've came from that moment as far as like baseball and just as a person.